again, the key, you're going to hear it one more time, is meditation. You have to meditate. And in meditating, that helps to bring you down, slow things down. Because the way that you operate today is that your brain, your mind is everywhere all at once. You're thinking of 10 different things all at once, and you're only capable of being able to really fully concentrate on one thing at a time and do it well. Meaning that you have to sit down and do some mathematical problems. Unless you are focused on just math, you never get it done. That means that you block everything else out of your mind and begin to do those problems and get things done. Like you know about a problem book. You know about a problem book, right? Your problem book, your, okay, so you know about how problems work. So therefore, what you do is that you eliminate all the other things that's going on and you begin working on those situations, problems, and resolving and solving them. All right? Now, when I channel, certain entities and beings come through me from other galaxies. There's one group that comes through from time to time, and they call themselves we. And as my wife always says to me, why can't they give us a name? Because <laughs> y'all are not my names. You know, God got to have a name, the devil got to have a name, angels got to have a name, y'all want names. But we says, y'all are too hung up on that. If you got a name, what the name does is lock you in a box. That is a description of something that you're not, but what they want you to be. So rather than go through that, they say, just call us we. And she is the one that talks to them more than anybody. I don't even talk to them, because they, they don't talk to me to talk to her. And he tells her things that he don't tell me, that she knows, and she don't tell me. So I spent say this time. Oh, you know, they said something. I was, I, was, well, I was there for about maybe 25 minutes. You got three things they said? No. <laughs> then later on, she might tell me something that they said. And I said, okay, fine, I get it. I understand. So that's what happens, that can happen to you as well. You all here are channels. You all here have abilities. They will fight 
to stay attached to this machine, to this type of system. There are those who today will turn in their mother for a few dollars. Paper. Another thing too about running the subject of paper. Um, if any of you are going to sell your old gold, give it to me first. <laughs> because there's no such thing as old gold. That when they dig it out of the ground, it's already old. So it's all part of a scheme to get you to give up your gold, your precious metal, which ain't that much, 14 carat, but it's still precious for paper. So don't sell old gold. Keep it, because you're going to need it one day. You might get a little bit hungry, you go into the store and say, right, that paper don't mean that you got any gold? Yeah, well, here's the old chain. Give me my food. So keep that in mind, all right? So it's all part of being plugged in to a matrix of system. And that's, again, going back to meditation. You've got to go back to that. But that's the ground for, for anything that you want to excel in spiritually, psychically, and of the abilities. All right? Now, I don't know how much time I've got left on this thing, but we got some things we're going to want to introduce some of you to. Some of you have already seen it. Oh, by the way, any questions on what I just finished talking about? You had a question. Yes, ma'am. EDT, it's called EDTA. Okay, those are just initials for, I don't know how to pronounce the words, I'm not gonna try to pretend that I do, but that's what it's called. You go to any health food store and say, do you have any EDTA? They know what it is, they'll say, I got it, here it is, and you'll get it. MSM is the same thing, yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay, question back there, yes, sir. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Break. And then you may do it for a week after, then after that, just do it one or two times during the week because by that time, you would have really done a good, you know, cleanse of the body, get rid of those heavy metals, those toxins. I'm sorry. And what it is is that just do it periodically after that. But the thing is that something like that, you have to be aggressive, okay? You have to be very aggressive because just be aggressive with you. So when you do that, make sure you do it for that period of time and then take a break, all right? One more thing too I want to tell you before you all go. Uh, one, just one second, let me make you say one statement, okay? The uh, thing is that I was at the, um, his brother's house that's I'm staying there. Very beautiful brother, great house, had a great time there. Really, really comfortable, made me feel at home. But I happened to notice that in the living room, he had one of those new halogen bulbs. No one of those spirals, those new ones. I asked him a question. I said, if that bulb is being changed and it falls and breaks, what's the first thing you do? He said, I vacuum it up. I said, no. The first thing you do is open the window, leave the room for 15 minutes. That's the first thing you do. Then you come back in the room after 15 minutes with a mask and gloves. And then you get a jar, a glass jar, and put the pieces that you can pick up in the glass jar. And then the little dust fragments that's left, get some duct tape and begin to duct tape them up and wrap it up and put that in the glass jar. Every little bit is left. You have to get a vacuum with a HEPA filter and pull up the rest of that. So all you all that are buying these halogen bulbs and think you're going to save yourself a few dollars and no kind of nonsense, I personally have in my house a year or two supply of regular light bulbs. So when the halogens come out, I don't get them. Don't get them at all. Okay, one more question. I'm going to get over to my organizer because I want to see all that. Yes, sir. Oh, sorry, brother. Yes, right. You had your hand up first. I saw you. Yes, sir. With this mystical gathering, I brought an offering to the family of ancient herbal tea called S-Fine. S-Fine is used for pineal gland awakening. It's to be calcified. So if you want to have a sample, you get a half an ounce and then they really enjoy the session. I share. I share. Yes, sir. Go on. Yes. Possessions, something that, that's another thing too that people have that's called possessions. You see that all the time in church. You know, in the church, what happens is that they open themselves up to any and everything that's in there. And it allows them to run around and speak in what they call tongues, which nobody understands but nobody. And that's a form of possession that is uninvited. Okay, psychotic meaning what? Okay, those are technical terms that they give to, to conditions that are normal for some people. Like there are people who are sitting in what you call a uh, psych ward or the same asylum that actually have these visions. But because of the fact that they don't understand, nobody teaches them what
what's going on with them, they are labeled by society as being, you know, out of contact, out of whack. So it's you know, like the way it was your dangerous. You're not dangerous, it's just the fact that they haven't sat down with you to be able to, let's say it like this, over, under, and inner stand. Okay, it's not just over stand. Because as above, so below. So you're over, you under, and you inner stand. When you take it like that, then you're at a whole nother level of getting information and being able to disseminate it. Those are just titles that they give of conditions that a lot of people have and don't need to be there because they're having an experience that the common person or the common world does not understand. With that. Now, what I'm going to need is one, uh, let me get some other thing here because I don't have a lot of time and afterwards we can, I can probably talk to you a little later, okay? You don't mind? Thank you. Okay, now, he was strong as hot. I wanted to get him up here. Okay, I need, um, I need a volunteer. Okay, come up here. He'll, remember, he owes me $10. <laughs> okay, now, I'm gonna, young lady, do you mind holding this one, please? Okay, now, I mean, I need to talk so you can oh. hear me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, my people, my people. <laughs> okay, just right there, okay, now. Now, how many of you ever heard, heard Organite? Okay, if you have, okay, great. All right, now, now, you stand right here. Now, these are organic pieces that we make. This is called organic energy. Other schools of thought called it chi, prana, life force energy. Now, let me show you something with this. Put it right over here. And I want you, brother, to stand with your feet together, please. Now, hold my hand real tight. Stand straight and relax. Don't man up on me. Don't show off. Because if you're pretty lazy standing here with the microphone, just don't show off in front of her. You ain't going to talk to me. Because I am watching you. Be together, please. Okay, now. Push it down. Okay, he's a little off balance. Hold that, please, sir. Same thing. Be together. Put my hand real tight. Relax. Oh. What happened? I got stuck. <laughs> what the organite does for you physically when you wear it, it's a... Uh, Helps to strengthen, balance, and enhance your energy field. Now watch this. Same thing. Put your hands behind your back, please, sir. So everybody can see. Turn this way. Thank you. Okay. Now, same thing. Oh, oh. All right. Now, let me go. Put it in your pocket, please. Any pocket? Yeah, any pocket. Just a minute. Okay. Same thing. You ready? Okay. Take the next pocket. All right. That's how it works on that level. Now, I'm going to show you something else. All right, now, there's something else that deals with energy. Well, here's energy. Now, I'm sure how energy works and what you're up against when you're out in the world and you don't know. Just step back a little bit, don't mind. Now, I want you to put your arm out, please. Now, I'm just going to push down on his wrist and resist me as much as you can, okay? All right, and hold. Okay, not bad. Put it down. Put it back up. Straight up. Same two fingers, same thing. Not resistant. See his arm going down so easy? Okay. <laughs> now put it back up one more time. Now. Okay, do the same thing again. Let's watch the real close. Now he, what happened is this. What I did, when he first put his arm out, he was in full control, had strength. The second time his arm went down like a like a wet noodle. What I did was Psychically, for lack of better words, I stole his strength. I stole his strength. I stole it. You felt it drop, draw from him. But I gave it back to him. Because I don't do that type of thing. And you were going to do it again, so I kept the same resistance. So yes. Also. You know. Yeah. But the thing is, is that around you on a daily basis are people like that, and they're called energy vampires. And they come around you because they see your lights, and they suck you dry. So when they finish, they walk away happy and full of pep and energy. And you sit there saying, oh, man. And like there are people who, let's say, um, at the office, that come around you all the time. And they come hanging around you. And when they leave, oh, you mean Grand Lando? And when they come around you, they say, thank you. And they go off. And any, any of your day, you're saying, at 5 o'clock, you say, hey, I'm tired. <laughs> They're skipping and jumping through the cartwheels, and you sitting there saying, man, I'm tired. Thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Thank you for your help. Yeah. Yeah. Give, him, give, give him a hand. He's a good man. Thank you. I have an organized in the form of a pendant. I also have, uh, okay, good. I have
have cell phone, I'm sorry, this, this is a power grid. This is real powerful too. This is, this is for your food, for your water, you can have some good dreams, put it in your pillow at night. Very, very powerful device. It's called power grid. And I also have, where do they go? Uh -oh. This is called a cell phone shield. This is what it looks like. Okay, it comes to block radiation from your cell phone from frying the brain. You know, you need to get one of these for sure. Okay, anyone have any questions? The brothers can approach the mic over there, and I'm glad to understand any questions you might have. I'll do my best to answer them for you. Do you want to ask questions? Okay, just come over here to the mic so I can hear you, please. Yes, please. Okay, so that's what, what we have here. We have to we also have um, wands. We have certain statues from the gods of Kemet. We have pendulums. Let me see, where's my pendulum? Give me a pendulum. I need one more pendulum. Okay. All right, now, in the meantime, I'm sure you something about energy, how it works. We ask this question. This is a pendulum, all right? We use this here to ask questions. I'll say, show me my yes. And when it starts going like that, I mean, any question I ask, if the answer is yes, it'll do that. Then I'll say, show me my no. And it'll stop doing that and start going back and forth like that. That's my no. So I said, this brother here in front of me, is he wearing um, a green shirt? He's telling me no. Is he wearing a black shirt? Tell me no. I can't see what color it's brown. Gray. Gray. Is he wearing a gray shirt? He's telling me yes. Okay, now, I'm sure your energy works. I'm going to say spin. Faster. Faster. Spin much faster. Spin real fast. That's energy. That's coming through me, through this device, showing the amount of energy that's there. Now, when I take the same thing, show you how energy works, I put it over top of the organite. And just watch what happens. See how fast that's coming? That's the energy coming from this car now. Now, we'll do another experiment, if you don't mind. Uh, these are dowsing rods. You ever seen these before? You know what those are? Okay, good. Let me get another volunteer. Young lady, please. Okay, who, who had the question? Um, excuse me, I apologize. Last question, please. Come to the microphone. Yes, come to the microphone, right there. My question was, uh, what do you have or what can we use to uh, decalcify the penal gland? There are different things that you can do. It's a great deal. You also, we have a device I don't have with me, but I have a organite pyramid with a pine cone in it. And the pine cone representation of the penile gland. If you notice that throughout the course of history, you'll find that pine cones play a very, very important part because the pine cone comes from the word penile. And penile, which is a Hebrew word, they call it, which means the face of God. It allows you to open up where the story in the Bible about Jacob's ladder, where he went up and down to the heavens and saw the face of God. He des desecrated the spot as the, the face of God, penile. That's, what he, that's where it comes from. So because of the fluoride in the water, fluoride is very, very dangerous. As a matter of fact, in two ways, if any of you have children, and you allow them to brush their teeth with fluoride toothpaste, you are doing a very, very dangerous thing. If you take the time to look at the side of the box of the toothpaste, it says, warning, if ingested, call the center for, center, so what is it, the poison, poison control center. So I would force you to something that you swallowed by accident, you poison yourself in your trouble. So we need to get away from that. So get away from the fluoride in the water. Stop drinking tap water or um, spring water and get to the still water. The only water I drink is distilled water. I don't drink no other kind of water but distilled water. But if I drink distilled water, then my lips are going to get crusty, I'm going to be thirsty, but I ain't drinking it. I'd rather go around with my breath funky, my lips cracked and chapped, before I drink that fluoride water. I don't care. I got to get my water that is distilled. I have to have it. Okay? Now, back to this young lady right here. Um, okay, my brother, you don't mind me using you for a second this time. You can hold the mic. Now you owe me twenty dollars. <laughs> now, now I want you to stand right here, you lady. Yes, yes, yes. Get a little bit closer. Okay, now you stand here and face me, please. Oh no, face this way, good. Now I want you to stand on the side over here, bro. If you can. Now these are dowsing rods. Don't go anywhere. These are used by the United States government. They use them in finding water, oil, things that are lost, things that uh, need to be found, whatever. There's lots of different things it has. Also, can detect energy on people. Now, young lady right here, I'm standing where she is. Great. Now step back a little bit, please. 
Let me stop right there. Now, you see what happened to these, these, these rods? They did not, they uncrossed. Now, come forward again a couple steps, please. Stop right there. Now, you see how they crossed? Okay, now, that's her energy field coming from her body. It's picking it up. Now, step back again. Okay, now, stop right there. Now, on your desk, you see that piece of organite. You see it right there, the little round thing? No, you got it. And now, hold it in your hand. See now what happened? Just pick it up and what happened to your energy field. You got bigger. Step back, please. Step back. Step back. Go back a little further. A little bit further. Now, that's how much your energy field has increased, just holding the organite in her hand. Come forward again, please. Stop right there. Now, take a safe piece of organite and put it back on the counter, please, for me. And see what happened. And you feel it's back to normal wherever it was. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Thank you, sister. Wow. That is energy. That is power. That is what you all have. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. I don't care how big, how small, male, female, chick, child, matters not. You all have that ability to be able to do things with the power of the mind, as they call it. Your mind is a very powerful device. It's just the fact that there's an old saying that says this, if you do not learn to control your mind, somebody else will. That's why the television has you programmed into thinking that the things are the way that they tell you it is on the tell live vision. And then when you go to the library and dig up the lies, you'll see that you'll find truth. In order to find truth, you have to go back. The further back you go, the more truth will be revealed. It's like a police detective. He comes across a scene and it's a murder. The first question that he asks, or she asks, is what? I want to know who was the last person to see this person alive. So I got to go back and find that out. Once I find that out, then I got to go back even further and find out one more. And that's what you have to do in order to know about your story and stop listening to his story, and then you can start knowing our story. You got that? So the organite that we have, we have it in the form of pyramids, we have it in the form of domes, we have it in the form of pennies. You can wear it, carry it with you on your person. You can wash in it, get it wet, it doesn't matter, because so it's going to continue to work. You don't have to recharge it, you never need charging, it stays charged. It's that powerful. And even if you break it in half, it'll still work. Because that's the energy and the power. This is universal life force energy. Now, as I told some people who came up to the table, there's no secret on how to make this stuff. It's not a secret. But the difference is in the energy that is put into it while it's being made. The thing is, with me, spirit works through me in making these. I have a Facebook page where I post a lot of this stuff, and people always tell me, oh, you do nice work. And my reply always is, always will be, from those who guide my hands, they thank you. Because it's not me. I'm not gonna take credit for it. When I look at it, it looks good to me too. So I said, bam, this stuff looks good. And a lot of times, well, I don't want to sell it. And some people come, how was that there? Pick it up. They said, look at me. I said, no, it's really 35, but I was hoping they would say no. Because I, 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 I like it. Because it looks good. So look, she gave me, huh? Yes, but because it looks that good, but I know what it does. The wands. Now, you, you all know, I, I'm, I'm going to point at anybody because, see, the thing is that, because these, these are not toys. These are not toys. If I pointed at somebody, you might turn into a frog. I don't want to do that in front of anybody. I don't want to do it in front of anybody. Uh, I, but I know how to change your back. It's a problem. I can do it, but I can't pull you back. But then, and when you see the movies like Harry Potter and those things, and they use these devices, they know what the thing contains. No one imagine. Years ago, when they made wands, they made them out of wood called holly. And you know about holly wood. It's where they make all of the dreams and all the magic things come true at Hollywood. Anything that they can't do in real life, they'll do it in the movies. That makes you think that it's real. And speaking of movies, before I, I know my time's getting ready to run out, but um, how many of you all saw the movie 
It just came out called The Avengers. Okay, now, now I'm just going to say a few things about this movie, I'm going to ruin it for everybody. But, the word in the movie was the Tesseract. Remember that? That cube. That thing really exists. It was, the word first came about in 1888 in a book called The New Era of Thought. And it talked about the fourth dimension. This device is used for them to travel to the fourth dimension. Because they know they can't get out of here no other way. You can. You have that ability. You have that power. They don't. And they mentioned an element called iridium. Iridium is one of the rarest elements on planet Earth. It's abundant in space and meteorites. And it, it's, it's a material that can withstand temperatures well over 200,000 degrees, and it's a non-corrosive material. This also is used in the formation or activating that thing, the Tesseract. Also, the main character, the evil guy, the villain, who also was a shapeshifter, if you know that about him, this other movie, you see that he had a staff. Now, at the end of his staff, he had a crystal, a crystal. And that crystal that he had was not just an ordinary crystal. It was a recorder, or as they called it, a record keeper. They're record keeper crystals. I don't know if you know about them or not, but they're very rare and hard to find. However, within the record keeper crystals, there are messages that have been left by the ancients for those who are in possession of these, and you can retrieve the messages from them if you know how to meditate. If you don't know how to meditate, you have a record keeper in your possession, you will not get the message until you get to that point of level of knowing how to meditate. That's important. So also in that movie, you saw they had in there the phoenix bird. And they also had Masonic symbols. What time? Five minutes? He got, I got five minutes left. Okay, five minutes questions. Okay, for my mouth, I can do it. Yes, ma'am. Well, come to the mic. Come to the mic. Please. Come on. Okay, you want to bring the mic? You want me to run around like a Vanna White? Or Vanna White? Vanna White. Simon Black, that's my name, Simon Black. Simon Black, Vanna White. Vanna White. Vanna White. Vanna White. Okay, about the elite, the elite chicken that I said to you, the vampires? Yes, thank you. Well, how can you prevent, you know, that, you know, you work working around them. Okay. Or you're living around them. Okay, uh, okay, let me tell you how you If you're in an area where there are energy vampires, what you have to do is put up a protection around yourself. There are several things that you can do as far as your protection is concerned. And one thing you can do is visualize around your person mirrors that face outwards. The reflection is facing outwards. Therefore, whenever they come at you, it's going to bounce back. The energy is going to bounce back. You can't penetrate because it's going to hit and bounce back, and I have an effect on you. Or visualize yourself being encased in pure white light. Okay? That will also be as offensive. Or and or a purple egg shape. Like so visualize that in your mind as a means of protection. You can do that when you're driving your car. You don't want to do it too often because sometimes you can make yourself disappear. And then they like, ever, ever ask them from the stand up, I didn't see them. And they didn't. Because you were just encased in that energy. So when you do that around those people, put that in your area. Or if you want to, you can get a piece of work and put it on your desk and then watch them run like hell. But you know, it's, it's up to you what you want to do. But that's one of the ways that you can do that. Hey, what's the question? Hey, Mom, what's the question? Do I have to run around there? Come on, hurry, man. Come on, slow. You can't run like this oh. anymore. <laughs> Can you use the Dawson rods? Can you use anything for Dawson rods? Excuse me, I'm sorry. Can you use anything for Dawson rods? Dawson, can I use them? Oh, oh, can you use them? Yes, can you use anything for Dawson rods? Or is it yeah, yes, yeah. yes. Well, what you can do with Dawson rods is that we, these here are, 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 are a makeshift brand that we make ourselves, but you can, you can find anything that of a, of a metal like this or something similar to and make your own Dawson rods if you like. Um, there are some people that make them professionally. Um, I ain't paying them no money to make them anything wrong. They're still work. They're gonna work. They're gonna work regardless, as long as they're made. But the one key thing to them is that you get some copper. Copper is something that's important with this. So you can deal with energy because copper is a very good conductor of energy. Very good conductor. Okay. Anyone else? Uh, Any more questions? Huh. Any more questions? All right. You're right. You're right. Okay, very good. Uh, about vaccinations. One of the things 
interesting imaginations to have is a drug called thimerosal. Thimerosal is really mercury, and mercury is poison. The same thing I gave you before about the oral chelation, that will work with that. Also, something else that you can use too, this is important to know, is that the, a, um, a tincture, tincture as I call it, which I make my own, called Thuja. T H U J A. Thuja is a tincture that you can use that will help eradicate or eliminate those type of drugs that are in the body. And some people take a drug. Okay, for all you guys and ladies, if you got a drug test on Monday for the child, <laughs> not that I'm not that I'm applying anything, <laughs> but however, if you want to make sure you pass that drug test, get yourself some Thuja a week or two before or start taking it and leave whatever recreational thing you're doing alone for a while. And when you go take that drug test, you come out like a newborn baby. Also, it's very good for STDs. Thuja, yes, it's good for STDs. I'm going to tell you how to administer it. 